Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday the 13th. It's kind of a scary day. You know who wasn't scared? These folks weren't scared about Friday the 13th. They got right into the action. I appreciate it. Big thanks to the folks who bought their uh, divisions straight up and thanks to, or congrats to the people here who won those divisions and there are the divisions right there. Um, standard mosaic blaster break, no vet commons, a lot of excellent parallels and stuff like that. Should be a lot of fun. Let's roll it and randomize each list. Names and divisions three times. One and a two. One, two, and three. Easy. Three easy times right there. So after three times, we've got Kurt down to Jason. Jason F. There are two Jasons in this break. One and a two. Three times for the divisions. One, two, and three. After three times, we get the NFC West down to the NFC North. All right, so Kurt with the NFC West, Chris Erickson, AFC East, Jason J with the NFC South, Jason F, AFC South, Anthony, NFC East, Mark with the AFC West, Catherine with the AFC North, Jason F. with the NFC North. So let's order these uh, by division. And trades are allowed. In fact, I'm going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. Um, also, here's a quick, in case you need a refresher, here's a quick look at the divisions right here. So there's the AFC East, AFC West, AFC North, AFC South. And then here's the NFC East, NFC West, NFC North, and NFC South. There you go, a little, little refresher right there. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades in the divisions, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades, so that list right there remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the uh, divisional action on Friday the 13th. So good luck on a historically unlucky day. I don't know. Someone's going to have to win stuff out of here, right? Yeah, you can see all the box on the top camera right here. There's five, ten, fifteen, and we got twenty right here. And you can see all the boxes on the top camera as well. They're not going anywhere. Good luck. Up about five boxes at once. So yesterday we had a, we had a pretty pretty nice uh, Thursday night football game yesterday. Although the Colts started pulling away in the in the second half, it was pretty close at the beginning. Colts beating the Titans thirty four to seventeen. Any games? Uh, that people are circling on their uh, on their calendars here, on their schedules. Are there any exciting games? Texans Browns could be that could be fun. Deshaun Watson always fun to watch. Baker Mayfield as well. Are there any games that people are looking forward to? Washington at Detroit with Stafford and concussion protocol. I don't even know if he's going to play. I, I don't know if that's moving the needle for anybody. What, Jags, Packers? I don't know if that's going to move the needle for anybody. 
Eagles Giants could be fun. Divisional matchups are always fun. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that punter, David's like that's that's what happens. You lose games, Titans, when you have a, a FedEx worker as your punter. <laughs> I'm sure he's a wonderful FedEx employee. Sure, I'm sure he does a great job there, but maybe not as a as a professional punter. That was brutal. Is that is that was that their regular? I don't keep track of punters. Was that their regular punter? Was that a new? Did they get did they get that guy off the street? Because he had a brutal like punt that was like less than 20 yards, and then he had that blocked punt. It just looked like he didn't get that punt off quick enough. Ooh. It's a bad day at the office. Tony is looking forward to Ram Seahawks. That's going to be a good one. Who do you have in that game, Tony? He might have to go into witness protection, David. Giants, that, that that division up for grabs. That, so the Eagles want to win that game, so they can have the the edge in that division. Buccaneers, Panthers. I guess Brady Bridgewater. That's a divisional matchup too. That's actually, yeah. After that weird lot, what happened with the Buccaneers last week? I'm just. Sean Payton just has their number. But uh, Buccaneers definitely need to win that game against Carolina if they want to keep their... If they want to try to win the division. Especially after losing to the Saints, getting swept by the Saints. Um, I'm a Raiders fan. Broncos at Raiders should be a lot of fun. Justin Herbert versus Tua. That's just a fun matchup. Josh Allen versus uh, Josh Allen's at Kyler Murray. That should be a lot of fun. So yeah, there's yeah, there's a you're right, David. There's there's a couple fun, fun young QB matchups, future QBs of the NFL matchups happening. Let's see if the Steelers can stay undefeated. Ravens are in New England, and then the Monday night game Vikings at Bears. Tony's a Rams fan, so hopefully the Rams win, but the team not looking good. Yeah, what's going on with the Rams? Something's just not clicking there. Rams are short favorites. They're minus one and a half, hosting the Seahawks. I feel like Rams Seahawks game in the last couple years or so have have been kind of wild. They've been sort of crazy, haven't they? Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's roll. Here's Amari Cooper. So, just to in case you're new to this, these are these vet commons. These are the ones not going to ship, but that's a parallel. So that Amari Cooper vet card will ship. All rookie cards will ship. All inserts, of course, will ship. It's just the uh, veteran commons. Uh, like Julius Peppers and Dwight Freeney that won't ship. Jamal Adams, of course, will ship. Hall of Fame insert, Dan Marino will ship. I think the only vet commons that do ship are um, Tom Brady and uh, Patrick Mahomes. There are standing orders for that, I'm pretty sure. And then rookie parallels will sleeve up right away. Those will be top-loaded later by our... Shipping team. Nice silver Henry Ruggs for the AFC West. Mark with that one, the speedster. And there's CD Lamb as well for the NFC East. Both Louis and Brian from the stream clips 
Kid recorder reporter card on the back there. Jalen Hurts for the NFC East. Yeah, for some yeah, Tony's saying for some reason the Rams just win a, they just beat the Saints or beat the Seahawks for some reason. Yeah, they kind of have their number. And for some of the top tier rookies like this, we'll just top load right away for the AFC West. Mark with the Clyde Edwards Elaire. I don't see any Tua's or Herbert's yet. There's Anthony McFarland, green, for the AFC North. Jalen Ragor, NFL debut. And we got Derek Brown for the NFC South. Jason Johnson, rookie silver. And the Jalen Ragor NFL debut green will go to the Eagles NFC East. That'll be for Anthony. And there's our first Tua for the AFC East, Chris Erickson. Base Tua Tongo Viola. Viloa. So still small sample size, but but he's been he's he's looking like he's looking pretty good. Wouldn't that be crazy if we had Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Tua, three strong quarterbacks in this rookie class? Hopefully they keep it up. There's Jacob Eason, green for the AFC South. Jason F. Another NFL debut, Jacob Eason. All right, and we'll rip another five boxes here. And Hall of Famer Paul Horning passes away at 84. Browns reopened facility after a positive test. Anyone been watching the Masters? You see Bryson De DeChambeau, who I feel like everybody was talking about going into the Masters, about how much, I mean, he does, I mean, I was surprised, stunned at how big he looks. He, he looks a lot bigger, he's packed on some muscle. He's been hitting these monster drives. But, uh... But that that course is kind of kind of humbling him a little bit, and he but he but he kind of got did he get screwed? I don't know. He hit a shot into the rough, and the ball just disappeared. <laughs> I, I I don't think I don't watch a whole lot of golf, but I feel like I've watched enough golf in my lifetime. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that happen with all those TV cameras out there. You know, and they, they had like five or six people like wandering around in that area looking for that golf ball. That was crazy. And they couldn't find it. And whatever the lost ball rule is going to be. And it's... it's wild.
I think that's one of the impacts of no fans being at, at, at golfing events. Usually there'd probably be, I don't know, at that particular hole, but I would assume at that particular hole there would be fans along that area? I mean, maybe if, there, if, if they were, there would have been someone who would have been like, there it is, landed right there. So that's, that's one of the little, uh, little uh, disadvantages of not having the fans there, or one of the many disadvantages, I guess. People are saying the energy level at the golf, at the golf course is a little weird, too. One more box here. Got two Jared Goff on the top right here. NBA free agency is going to be wild. There's talks about Westbrook being moved around. Paul George being moved around. It's going to be wild. Oh, and our autograph, which are kind of rare in these blaster boxes, is going to be Bill Bates, Scripps autograph. For the Cowboys, NFC East, Anthony with the NFC East. There's a flea flicker for the Cardinals. And a green to a Tungo Viola. Miami, AFC East. Another one for uh, Chris Erickson, this time a parallel. It's Tom Brady right there. Another flea flicker, triple player card. Yeah, Chris Paul looking like the Suns are going after Chris Paul and then Paul George may be on the move. There's our first Justin Herbert. AFC West, that's going to go to Mark. Chris Paul on Phoenix, that could be really interesting. It's Jalen Hurts Green for the NFC East. I mean, Chris Paul definitely raised his stock by, by taking the OKC Thunder as far as he did. Um, a team that people didn't think would go as far as they did. 
So maybe they're thinking, hey, maybe Chris Paul can do that with our young team here in Phoenix. There's Joe Burrow, our first Joe Burrow, NFC North. Catherine for the FC North. But yeah, I don't know what I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. You would think that that they're they, they're not gonna move Devin Booker, right? The Suns would have to move pieces and pieces and picks. There's Anthony McFarland Jr. Green. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how Phoenix is going to pull that off. No, I, I don't think Denver, I don't think Devin Booker is going anywhere, right? All the Lakers could use a Devin Booker. Yeah, but the, the rumors are all over the place. I mean, I'm hearing that the Knicks, the Knicks might be interested in Westbrook. Oladipo wants out of, of Indianapolis. You know, and he's got like a list of three teams that he wants to go to, but I, don't, I mean, I don't know how much leverage he has when you demand a trade like that. I think you just you just go where they send you. But you know, so that so there's there's that issue happening here. I I think I heard on Sports Talk Radio in LA, the LA that uh that Demar Derozan might be a good third option for the Lakers. Behind Anthony Davis and and uh, and LeBron, but I don't know if the Spurs and Popovich are going to do the Lakers any favors. They're not going to send Demar Derozan to the Lakers, right? Unless the Lakers just get fleeced in a trade or are willing to be fleeced in a trade. <laughs> There's Duvernay for the AFC North, Catherine. NFL debut, Jalen Ragor. Where the fly, Eagles fly, NFC East, Anthony. I don't know. We're, we're in some pretty interesting and exciting sports times. We've got the NBA draft coming up next week. And we're right smack in the middle of the NFL season. Should be should be a lot of fun. Currently linebacker K.J. Wright and defensive end Benson Mayoa are among the seven Seahawks listed as questionable for Sunday's game against the Rams. But Pete Carroll said Wright looked very good in practice. Center Ethan Pochich ruled out, and Kyle Fuller will make his first start at center on Sunday for the Seahawks. These Rams are a little banged up, too. Seahawks are going to be without starting cornerbacks. Shaquille Griffin, Quentin Dunbar. Could be a lot of could be a lot of points in that game. Harden and Westbrook expressing concerns about direction of the Rockets. If I'm the Rockets, I'd be tempted to just blow it up, right? I mean, we 
You know, they did what they needed to do. They spent money. They, they, they made deals. They made trades. It's not like they were just idle. So maybe maybe fans will be understanding of that. It's like, hey, we gave it a shot. Now it's trying to, time to rebuild. Let's move some of these big contracts. Let's get some draft picks. You know, maybe suffer through a rough season or two. And go from there. Did I do, uh, yeah, I did my wrist exercises, Rodney, before this break. I, sh I sure did. Got to, got to stretch out the wrists. Folks, avoid the, uh, avoid the carp. I'm a guitar player, Rodney, so I feel like I've got pretty, pretty strong wrists here to be able to open up these packs. Pretty flexible. Here's another five before the final five. Thanks, everybody. Schedule's in the chat if you're wondering what's coming up next, and we'll go through some more orders a little bit later, too. We got Aeneas Williams scripts for the Cardinals. It's going to be NFC West. Kurt with the NFC West. NFL debut, Justin Herbert, AFC West, Mark, that one. Antonio Gibson, rookie green, there's the Seahawks right there. Another Tua. Tungo Vailoa. Going to the AFC East. Another one for Chris, another green one for Chris Erickson. Nice. Might be worth grading those out, seeing seeing if any of them come back. With a decent grade, that'll, that'll sure boost its value. And I'll be rooting for him this weekend, too. Anthony McFarland Jr. for the AFC North. Mosaic Pattern. Next blaster box. There's T. Higgins, AFC North, Catherine.
Oh, I think I see a Genesis peeking out of there. Oh, that is a Genesis. Who's it going to be? It's a DJ. DJ Chark. DJ Chark. Do, 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 do. That goes to the AFC South. That'll be for Jason Fractor, who won that spot. Gets this uh, super short print right here. So those Genesis patterns look really cool. NFL debut, Jalen Ragor, another Brady. All right, another box here. And an orange fluorescent Troy Aikman, 17 out of 25. Nice one for the NFC East, Anthony. I feel like these orange fluorescents are, you don't find those too often here either. All right, five more to go. Golden Tate apologizing for his actions in recent weeks. Belichick and the Patriots are just are crazy like a fox, maybe. You know, did they did they tell? You know, they told a lot. Of, I mean, did they did they tell encourage a lot of players to opt out? You know, they can low key tank, get a nice draft pick, figure out what they have in Cam Newton. And then they get all those players to come back that opted out this season. Be interesting. I don't know, Rodney, what, what, what's on tonight? I was watching the golf. I, I got to think there's maybe some sort of college sports happening on tonight, but kind of a kind of a quiet at least sports games wise, kind of kind of a quiet matchup. A quiet night in terms of live sports. I guess we were just kind of waiting for college football tomorrow, NFL action on Sunday and Monday, and the NBA draft next Wednesday, I think. Which should be a lot of fun. Pedialyte helps you hydrate better than ever. Are they suggesting that's the perfect hangover drink?
couple more boxes to go here. Ladies and gentlemen, my Raiders are five and three. I did not expect this at this point of the season. They're hosting the Broncos. Broncos are three and five, playing in Vegas. I think that should be a pretty interesting matchup. Vegas are the home favorites at minus four. I hope they do well. I think they could beat the Broncos. Raiders defense still not good. But now I'm looking at now I'm looking at my Raiders. Now that they're five and three at this point of the season, I'm looking back at their losses. They lost to the at Patriots. They now seeing how poorly the Patriots have played in recent in recent games. Now I'm thinking maybe the Raiders should have been should have had six wins by now. Maybe they should have been six and two. The Bills, yeah, the Bills just wasn't a good game. They lost to the Buccaneers too, and I don't think they really got out of the gates in that Buccaneers game, but. Now I'm looking back thinking they should have probably beat the Patriots. Could have been six and two. All right, we're there, folks. We're there. Let's see what these last five boxes have in store for us, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting into the action with us on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I appreciate it. Got J.K. Dobbins rookie mosaic pattern. Does Lexus give you those big, big bows on the car? Do you have to buy that separately? Met rookie green. That's for the Bears NFC North, Jason F. Antonio Gibson Green for the NFC East. And an NFL debut silver, Justin Herbert, AFC West. Nice. He's been playing some excellent football. Is Justin Herbert your uh, the leading candidate for offensive rookie of the year? Devin Duvernay, green. Rookie green for the AFC North, Catherine. Emmett Smith, silver, that'll ship. All right. Final box. Anything big here? Ooh. We got a fluorescent orange Jacob Eason. Three out of 25 for the AFC South. Jason F. Nice. And what else? Anything else? Jerome Bettis, Lamar Jackson, and Jimmy Garoppolo got game insert. All right, there you go, folks. That was a 20-box blaster break. Random division, number one.
Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate you. And more football in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.